of you okay so those students also present in the iqc as a member you can refer our university website here i mean, I, i have given the website address so in our university website you are able to notice who are all the right now student members be a part of the iqc and they share their inputs among the members so we conduct meeting once in 3 months so in the academic year totally we conduct four meetings once three months once we all sit together we all discuss the issues and the necessary action to be taken based on the points discussed during the meeting okay so this is about the composition the member and the structure sorry this is the structure uh, director iqc is there uh, to coordinate the director iqc deputy director iqc is there and in every school school level one faculty one senior faculty nominated as the iqc officer okay and he will coordinate you for example if you belong to school of computing school of computing has computer science engineering information technology then your school has one iqc officer who will coordinate your uh, feedback your uh, students involvement in various activities likewise in the school of uh, mechanical or civil engineering one school level senior faculty will be there who act as the iqc officer he will coordinate you in all your uh, get togethers and uh, arranging meetings getting feedback everything then uh, i would like to take few minutes on this to explain the process in this how as a students you are going to involve so the first thing please note here these are all the various courses that you are going to undergone during your studies so all those courses will perform effectively will go on in a regular manner that we we will check the iqc will check by means of auditing the faculty member at the time as, as a students the iqc team will get feedback from you okay that is first one thing then next one thing please note this student quality circle that is the class committee each class has a class committee and the class committee consists of members some four to five students this is for the each class for example if you belong to b1 na b1 will have a class committee b2 will have a class committee b3 will have a class committee so in the class committee a group of members will give their feedback and those members will be automatically part of the hqc the students quality circle so as a student you will uh, 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 you have a meeting with your class coordinators with your uh, dean and your feedback everything to be taken into consideration then please note this process very very important the feedback analysis so at the iqc will collect feedback two times in a semester from you through online complete online once you uh, get your register number automatically by using your register number you can enroll uh, in the system in the kalvi login system in your kalvi login the feedback link will open when once the time will come what's the time means during your each semester at the before your sessional one exam we collect one feedback then after your sessional two exam we collect another feedback so before sessional exam one is your classes starting time so how do you feel with each and every course so you are going to give the feedback through online for each course teacher and we will analyze and provide the rating you are going to give uh, i mean uh, options is there 3 4 5 so if you feel the faculty the course is very good the classes going nicely na you give high feedback 5 5 5 like that okay if it is poor na you can give 2 1 so all these things through online only where at the starting of your class you are going to give feedback on each faculty how the classes is going on then at the end of your sessional 2 after the sessional 2 in another few days by your class work, class work will be over so during the last working day time the iqc will collect another feedback again through online only 
we will send just intimation only through your class coordinators and in your login you have to give your feedback okay that is your responsibility and one drawback we have noticed earlier is most of the students because of the laziness they don't involve in the process they don't give they don't click the login and they don't participate in the feedback process that is wrong it is just like a voting system feedback is your right okay so you have to utilize that one correctly because if you get more uh, responses then only we are able to come to a strong conclusion okay if the response is very small now then taking decision is very difficult very confusing okay you are going to uh, uh, give a feedback on certain questions which which may be about your uh, faculty punctuality whether he is coming to classes in time like that so please understand and your class coordinator will help you uh, making you aware about the questionnaires and to make you understand the questionnaires after that you can give your opinion so everyone has to participate in the feedback analysis mechanism which is very very essential to improve the quality in your teaching learning process likewise the feedback will continue on placement section continue on other uh, administrative section so every sections we have certain uh, set of questions which should be shared and the feedback collected and the feedback analysis is the very vital part done by the iqs then these are all the various services you see you please uh, see here the office of coe office of center for learning technology office of international relation office of students affairs iedc office of r and d so for all the offices we gave a particular target that the target they have to complete in the academic year that includes student related activities more for example office of international relation the iqc will give target this year 10 students has to go for the international exchange program now the office of uh, international relation will work towards they contact many abroad universities okay and they approach uh, second year to final year students senior students okay the semester abroad exchange program is from some second uh, second year onwards okay but right now you are in the very uh, early stage so first year you must uh, make uh, thorough about your fundamentals then the second year to final year you have multiple options where the iqc will have the stick and they use the stick make all the offices to function effectively especially in uh, in terms of keeping the students growth in mind the students participation in mind okay students affairs office is there we will ask from the students affairs how many innovative program conducted for the students so then the, the, the target will be done by the students affairs section likewise from the office of coe we will ask how the quality the question paper will be how quality the evaluation will be whether the students are happy with the evaluation like that a separate feedback mechanism auditing will be done by the iqs of so every office will come under the single forum that is your iqs is held okay <coughs> then these are all the database system apart from this we are all uh, maintaining a complete database system that is also our main objective complete database means as your students you are going to participate in various events that uh, particular uh, details will be uploaded in the login and your data will be maintained in the database where you can refer at any time and any time you can use for your uh, further uh, future uh, purposes okay so that is another one of the main uh, role done by the iqc the process of iqc now let me quickly tell some of the major initiatives that we are uh, doing here in our kare first one we implement quality metrics this quality metrics the students portion also there we design the metrics for faculty for students for the research activity and for 
event organized so for the students also uh, we design matrix that is you will be motivated by your team members it is not directly for you it is not directly for you to complete the things you will be get motivated by your uh, department team and uh, through to achieve to participate in various reputed events okay that is first one then next one academic audit how your teaching learning process going on that we will check frequently and administrative audit this is for the uh, various officers then this one feedback as i told the all the stakeholder who are all stakeholders were stakeholders means yourself students then your parents then myself faculty then the alumni and the industrialist who are all taking you for the placement the industry person industry person they are all stakeholders we are all called as stakeholders so each stakeholders we are giving more importance and collecting the feedback then analyzing the feedback for the betterment then this one for the faculty alone by exclusively api means the annual performance system appraisal okay the faculty it, it's exclusively for the faculty then please note the seventh one the iqc awards for department faculty and the students see every year we honor the students who are all uh, signing in various activity by giving them awards by iqc awards every year uh, we conduct the iqc day during the engineer stay okay we start this with the engineer stay but every engineer stay we have a practice to conduct this function and during the function we honor the students who are uh, well uh, well equipped uh, in uh, teaching learning and other administration other leadership skills those students we identify and uh, uh, we will uh, train i mean uh, we will provide them with uh, awards okay then the software as i told as i told you few uh, few minutes back this is about the feedback mechanism okay the role of it is how the feedback collection will be in two phases as i told please uh, note this one odd semester even semester every time phase one phase two then we collect feedback from the alumni we collect feedback from the recruiters okay so this is the major part where you have to give your feedback everything then the uh, recruiters as well as we go for auditing various courses okay that you are going to undergo doing your uh, studies then the, some examples quickly i will show you how we did the analysis see here these are all different departments to uh, students feedback given the engineering department we split into engineering and arts and uh, ranging from 0 20 40 60 80 100 100 percent so here the feedback will be low now we analyze each and every students uh, inputs then we uh, we uh, we suggest the steps to be taken by the concerned department hod is under the school deans quickly i will show you some example this is another one for the arts and science how the percentage vary department wise then this is the uh, student satisfaction survey which we will uh, take every year how happy the students are uh, doing their studies okay so it is for the existing student not for the alumni or passed out student it's for the existing students and it covers all major aspects everything so this is some example analysis how the graph will be almost all or 100 percentage of the students get satisfied this is for the year 2021 arts and engineering then this is the sample for alumni feedback during the convocation day we collect feedback from the alumni on extensive feedback and that uh, feedback we we have taken forward we do some extent analysis and present in our meeting uh, where the students also will share their suggestion existing student so this is the sample for the alumni feedback analysis you see here this is the percentage representation okay almost uh, all are near to uh, 80 80 plus the satisfaction is 80 percentage above then i will show you some uh, pictures of awards see here as i told every year from 2015 we have started 2016 
18 students will be honored during this function. Okay, these are all some of the snaps. And uh, this is about the students' participation in IUCE. I will quickly go to that one. This is the meeting I pointed out, where student members involved and they share their suggestion. Yeah. Then let me discuss the last one thing. With, uh, with this, I will conclude my uh, presentation. Students actively participate in one chapter called as the IUCE Students Chapter. What is this IUCE? No? Into Universal Consortium for Engineering Education. And our university is a consortium member. And we have exclusively student chapter. This student chapter role is, if you enroll in this chapter, you are able to participate in all kind of competitions, uh, designing innovative products, participation in various conferences organized by them, which makes you, which trigger your skills. And you are able to uh, present your skills, uh, innovative ideas through this chapter. And your seniors are very actively engaged in the chapter, IUC cha student chapter, which is functioning for the past uh, three to four years only and now most of the students they start uh, uh, I mean uh, they get motivated and they involve themselves in this uh, chapter okay so which is uh, the recent initiative where our uh, university is having collaboration with the IUC and making our students to participate in lot of activities and a few activities quickly I will show you in my coming slides these are all our faculty members engaged in the IUC and as I told we got awards through the IUC also uh, our institutional excellence in achievement award and this our former vice chancellor got a leadership award then a teaching learning center award and this is for the community service body and this is what I mentioned you few minutes back the students award so one of the students uh, chemical engineering students their uh, uh, projects uh, got the IUC student award in the year 2020. In 2021 also, few students got award that I listed out in my next slide. So this is the news article of that one, where your innovative project will be supported, okay, financially supported. So IUC students chapter is one very, very active cell where you will participate, uh, engage yourself. So this is the presentation by students and faculty. And these are all some of the uh, papers presented by students as well as uh, faculty. And this is what I would like to uh, highlight you, the IUC activities in our career. So first as I pointed out, students leadership development course and uh, various foundation courses uh, you are able to participate. Okay, see all these things it's uh, free of cost only. Since we are the consortium member, you don't need to pay anything. Just your interest and uh, your uh, innovative ideas as a project, if you would like to do now, you will engage, make yourself to uh, include in the chapter and uh, go ahead with the things, uh, I mean, support, uh, support by your seniors. They will guide you in a more effective manner. Then followed by that, uh, some of the workshops and IUCC student summit. See, this is, for student itself, they are organizing a big event, IUC. Student summit is there, and separately for the faculty, they organize IUC leadership summit. And these are all some of the quick activities about the students' participation. So, students' competition 2020, as I told, 261 students participated. This is the number which I pointed out to you early. Many students they actively engage. Okay, and. Uh, these are all the courses uh, done by our faculty along with the students. Then this is the chapter which I mentioned you, the IUC student chapter. And this is about the industry interaction we see. Okay, so this is about the internal quality assurance cell. And as a student, your role is very important. Okay, you have to engage themselves in giving correct feedback. Okay, and uh, you actively involved in many leadership roles. This IQAC will help you to develop your leadership role. When once during your uh, studies, if you develop this leadership skill, now you don't have any state fear or uh, you don't have any uh, communication gap. 
okay your uh, language and everything will get improved so this will provide you a platform to showcase your uh, leadership skills okay and involve in those committees and give every time as per the instruction engage in the feedback mechanism which will be helpful for the betterment of the uh, as well as the growth of the university okay so this is one small uh, presentation that i would like to share with you all and uh, with this let me conclude the presentation if you have any questions any clarifications uh, you are uh, welcome and i am ready to clarify the things any questions anything any points if you would like to discuss if means quickly you can uh, share yes Okay, next session another uh, resource person is writing. So, if you don't have any queries, let me conclude. Uh, okay. Thank you all. And uh, uh, in the coming days, if you have uh, any innovative things, any ideas, and any collaboration, uh, you visit our department. You are always welcome. Okay. And uh, try for more uh, multidisciplinary learning. This. Uh, university curriculum will provide you more multidisciplinary learning which is very very helpful for the current change in scenario okay because nowadays we are all not depending on one specific stream by right? we are all moving towards the multidisciplinary aspect okay so you are all welcome and uh, collaborate with uh, our team do some innovation and uh, let us uh, have a uh, great coming days ahead in kare as well as in your department so thank you all for your patient listening thank you. thank you sir thank you for your wonderful lecture on the activities of iqac now i request uh, mr karapsami pandian to introduce the chief guest Good afternoon and all person here. Uh, the next session is about a uh, motivational talk by Dr. Uh, J.A.D. Somway, sir. Uh, he is a director of uh, Petra Service Mission, Tunnel Valley, Tamil Nadu. And he is giving the complete solution on uh, personality development through the motivational seminars and activities, uh, having as a title uh, victories mind for the students in colleges and students. He started his career as a qualified teacher handling higher secondary uh, students to teach computer science in 1991 at Koilpati, Tutukudi district, Tamil Nadu. Uh, then after five years, he went to uh, Malaysia to work as a tutor uh, in further educational management system, uh, private institute to teach the computer software basics to the university going students. He decided to serve the students in India for their improvement and development. So he resigned his job and he came to India and he joined an international organization and worked there for almost 12 years uh, and he trained uh, students and uh, teaching faculties. Uh, in 2007, he also went to Singapore and got trained in advancing leadership skills through Haga Institute and using his experience, he has been doing uh, personality development programs among the students and teachers in various schools and colleges all over Tamil Nadu and also all over India for the past 15 years. He has totally uh, uh, experience of uh, three decades among the students, parents, and teaching faculties. Uh, with this short introduction, I welcome uh, the Samuel sir for his motivational talk. Thank you. Check. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear students. I am very ha happy to be here. This is, I have given you 
motivate to activate nowadays after the long um, lockdown right many of us we are lock up and uh, many of us even switch off mode or uh, silent mode or some are inactive so this is the time to activate ourselves right okay it won't be boring i'll speak about 1 hour or 1 hour 15 minutes that's all ha oh, 1 hour okay 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 won't be boring i am going to show you so many pictures powerpoints uh, video short videos so you can enjoy yourself you see here today i am going to teach you about positive thinking why positive thinking often wherever i go i used to say when mind changes life changes can you repeat after me can you ah repeat please when mind changes whose mind whose mind not our mind my mind you should say like that when my mind changes my life changes when his mind changes his life changes we are we, we are always we are talking about our friends oh you go first you go first i will come next like that not like that when my mind changes my life changes that is my slogan today we cannot change our life until we change our thinking right because the thinking comes from the mind are you okay are you clear you know mind where is the mind here here inside brain is there we don't know where is the mind mind is not a thing right not a matter but brain is a matter today you are going to uh, i am going to clarify about this all these things what is mind what is brain you see here we cannot change our life until we change our thinking now i start with the puzzle right okay you see here look at the picture very carefully and i ask the question divide the white area in square a into two equal pieces can you do it the computer automatically it will divide the square a into two halves okay right is it right right or wrong it's divided into equal part okay then the second one question divide the white area in square b into three equal pieces you see here it's already divided three equal pieces right then the third question is divide the white area in square c into four equal pieces try you try yourself i'll give time do you understand the first question is two equal parts the second question is three equal parts and the fourth question, third question is divide the white area into how many four equal parts try if you do it yourself you you do like that i'll understand right do you want to see the solution right okay you see here here is the solution how many of you solve like this how many of you solve like this anyone from here no okay now the final question is divide the area d into seven equal pieces its world record is only seven seconds seven seconds why you are thinking more is it difficult you want to see the solution it's very simple you see here here is the answer you see here this puzzle teaches us 
it was just to see how our minds can be conditioned can be conditioned within 2 minutes within 2 minutes how our minds can be conditioned you can or your mind can be conditioned through the visuals we are always using smartphones nowadays not in the classroom but outside the classroom whenever you go immediately you take your smartphone and you are doing like this right something you are watching that is reader or not you are simply you are watching you are using this mobile spending lot of time with this mobile phone i used to say two words one is using another one is spending which one is right using money is right or spending money is right using money the same way using time or spending time which one is correct using time right you have to use time you have to use your money never ever you spend your time or spend your money right you see here so we should be very careful about what we watch and how much time we watch we cannot avoid smartphones we cannot because even small children in the schools they are using online classes right they are using the smartphones so now we are going in the technology world we cannot avoid smartphones but you can control yourself you can limit the usage limit the usage right so that i have given you you should be very careful what we watch and how much time we watch we should be very careful right okay so you you here uh, i am going to show you a short video now i am i am talking about positive thinking positive thinking okay a uh, mic is ready for that it's a small music will come i have to place this mic this one yes. okay for me okay 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 uh, so uh, you are going to watch a short video it's a it's a, a documentary film like that you see here and we will talk about this काश काश मैं एक हेलीकॉप्टर खरीद सकता वाह कितनी प्यारी स्पोर्ट्स कार है काश ये गाड़ी में अफोर्ड कर सकता मैं एक साइकिल खरीद सकता
काश मेरे पैर सलामत होते और मैं चल सकता ओके आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टूड दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वेरी वेल राइट दिस इज नॉर्मल ह्यूमन टेंडेंसी the first person he wished to buy a helicopter but even though he is having a sports car nearly 3 crore rupees sports car and the second person who is having the honda city he wants to buy that which one the sports car the third person one who is having a cycle bicycle he wants to have the honda city right but another person he is not at all having anything cycle or a car or bike nothing he is coming by walk but he wants to buy the cycle at least bicycle but the final person you you were watching that he was sitting in the wheelchair and he wished to have the legs this is our uh, attitude nowadays we are going to we never we we are we, we ever compare with the people those who are higher than you right but what i want to tell you now is you can compare with others but you have to compare with the people lowering than you economically lower than you then only you can get the satisfaction and you can you can give others you can um, donate others you can help others when you compare the people lowering than you right okay there was a man his name was mr worry what is what is the name mr worry you know why his name was worry always he is worrying about something but he is having good job nearly 75 80000 rupees per month he is having car he is having a good house he is having a good wife and two children they are studying in good school everything he has but always he was worrying about something wherever he goes sometimes he go to the subways under the roads and sitting there and uh, uh, he was worrying sometimes he goes to the beach and getting worried right we are enjoying in the beach but he was worrying one day god wants to teach him sometimes god wants to teach us right today also it's like that he wants to teach you something from this session i challenge you if you really concern about this session right this session you can change your mind you can change your life within this one hour i i can have many proofs in my life for the past 25 years i am doing this all over india many schools many colleges many different boards you see here God wants to teach him he was sitting in the first floor of his house and watching over outside the window there was a filled bubbling over dustbin but after some time you see here he was watching a two came there one dog and one cat came there and they picked up what they want from the waste from the waste and after some time a man who is collecting the waste bottles waste plastic pet bottles he came over there and collected all the bottles and went after some time two pigs came over there and they ate what they want from the waste then two cows came over there and they ate the rotten foods rotten vegetables tomatoes potatoes and some vegetables from there you see here after some time a lady who is collecting the waste papers he she came over there and collected the waste papers from the dustbin finally a man who is collecting the plastic carry bags carry bags he came over there and collected the bags now this man who is his name what is his name ah who is he 
Mr. Worry, Mr. Worry. That Mr. Worry watching over there, no. Now he realized himself, realized himself. The waste dustbin, after all, the waste just, the dustbin was useful for more than seven people. Right? Pigs, cat, dog, cows, and three persons, right? Three people. So seven persons. He realized to himself, I am having everything in my life. I have a good job. I have a good car. I have good family. But why I am worrying? That time, God spoke to him clearly. So he full stop to get worried about something. Right? Okay. So, what I want to tell you is, you must have, every one of us must have the gratitude in our life. God has given us everything. Good parents, and good college, and good house, good uh, brothers and sisters. We must have the gratitude. That, that video you saw, no? In that one quotation comes last. What was the quotation? Be grateful for what you have. Here I have given you the same statement in different way. Gratitude, if you are gratitude, gratitude will change your attitude. So count your blessings. What are the blessings already you have? One by one, you count your blessings. Then we should have the gratitude mindset. This is the number one. I am going to tell you like this three kinds of mindsets. What is the first mindset? Gratitude mindset. Right? We should have the gratitude mindset. Number one. Then, Dr. Carolyn Leaf, a communication pathologist and all your audiologist, he, she is a researcher, neurologist. He researched with uh, about 20 years of research with the student's brain. He captured the photographs and the attitudes. He, she researched and she wrote a book called Switch On Your Brain. Switch On Your Brain. This you can get it from Amazon. When I bought this, it was 900 rupees. Now it's 300 only. If you wish, you can get it from Amazon and uh, read out. It's a wonderful book. What it says is, the mind is designed to control the body of which the brain is a part. But before that, it was like that. Brain is controlling the mind. But this Dr. Carlin, he researched and she proved that Mind is controlling your brain. Then your brain is controlling your body. Whole. Right? You, you see here, I am using this presenter only because of the mind is giving the command. Otherwise, I cannot use it. I am talking something and I am explaining something because my brain is controlling my mouth. These all, these, these all things you know already. But what is the research proved that Mind is controlling everything, everything. So we must change our mind. Then only we can change our life. So my, my slogan is, when my mind changes, my life changes. Okay, good. You see here, our brain does not control us. We control our brain through our thinking and choosing. Thinking and choosing. Unless we change our thinking, we cannot change our mind. Right? And choosing also. What are the things you choose from this world? I already I said, you are using smartphone. But it is in your hand. The world, the whole world is in your hand. But you can choose what are the things I am going to watch. What are the things I have to avoid. It's in your hand. Right? 
world is in your hand and choosing the choice is yours yours you see we have seen the elephants on the road but some of us we we can uh, we could see the elephants in the jungle in the jungle or once i have seen really naturally with uh, we we have gone to near here only srivilipur near senbagathoppu once we went with uh, with 20 boys for trekking at that time we saw the elephants very 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 strong enough very uh, strong and very vigorous one one male elephant came over there and he, he easily he plucked out a tree a big tree and throw it out we get scared but the same elephant in kerala some people they are having in their home like domestic animals like dogs cows like that they are keeping elephants in their home and in the temple and on the road it simply the elephant is walking over there sometimes we go there and we touch the elephant right very soft animal very soft animal but the when the animal the elephant uh, when it was in the jungle it was vigorous but how is it real you see here in somewhere for the marriage couple the joyful ride you know jolly ride they are using more than they are charging 20000 rupees 30000 rupees like that right and sometimes simply standing on place and whatever we give the elephant take it out if we give the money it will give it to the the person one who carrying of him right in when you go to assam there we cannot uh, bring the bulldozers or uh, some that vehicles on the mountain for in those places the elephants they are using the elephants for labor simply the elephants are obeying the keepers you see you see here so how it is is possible it is possible yes this all these kind of elephants when they are 15 days or 30 days old they caught up the elephant and they tied up with the cord four legs and stomach and neck it's about 6 months they have to loosen up the cord that's all at that time the the philosophy writer is writing like that we are programming the minds of the elephants on those days programming the elef- minds of the elephants so after 6 months they loosen the cords and normally it's walking around but the minds of the elephants every time telling you are weak you are not strong you are not normal you are weak like that only the mind really that elephants are very strong you see here they are not uh, tied up with the chain only they are putting the chain on the top of the elephants if you remove the chain it will move the elephant will move otherwise it stand up in one place that is elephant philosophy you see here simply such a wonderful very big old elephant if he wish it can remove the shed from that side such a strongest animal but it won't why why his mind is tied up like that way here we the students we have some bondage in our mind we have to remove that i am from i am coming from very poor family or i am coming from my parents are illiterate or i am coming from you know, such a far away place 
I am staying in the hostel, I am coming all through the way by bus, many things, many things, many things. I cannot do this, I cannot do that, like that. We have tied up with so many things in our minds. Dear students, I like to say, you have to throw it out now. You can do it, you can do it. Without your consent, nobody can you let you down. You remember this statement in your mind. You see here, without your consent, you know the meaning consent? Willingness. Willingness. Without your consent, nobody can let you down. Because of your will, you are going down. Because of your interest, you are going down. So the second statement I want to give is the second mindset. What is the first mindset? We should have the we should have the gratitude mindset. The second type of mindset is we should have the mindset of self-esteem. Self-esteem. We must, we have to honor ourselves. We have to honor ourselves first of all. Otherwise we cannot move a little forward move a little we cannot move a little we must honor ourselves i can do it i studied this much i scored this this much mark in 12th standard 10th standard now i am joining this college i can i can you see here the next point is like that be an optimist what is optimist what is that Positive, positive thought, you must have positive word, always positive. That is, the person is called optimist, right? Here I have given two words, can I or I can? I can, that is positivity, that is optimist, not can I. Always I have to say I can, I can. I can do this, do this, I can do better. You see, I can, you can use it, otherwise I will try. That is the next statement. Never ever use I cannot, I cannot, I can't like that. I can't, I cannot. You never ever use that word, I can't. I can't this, I cannot do this. Even to your parents also. Sometimes in your home, your parents are doing, say, saying something, hey, do, you do this. No, 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 I can't mommy, I can't daddy. Don't do like that. You can say, I'll try, daddy, I'll, I'll try. Some people, you know, some students, you are saying like that, I will try my level best. That is good, good statement. Instead of saying, I can't, I can't. So hereafter, after this session, you never ever use I can't. Are you okay? Can you do that? Can you do that? I can. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try my level best. That is positive thinker. That is an optimist. Right? Okay. There won't be no room for I can't. If you use these two words, I can, I'll try, there, there is no room, there, is, there won't be no room for I cannot, I cannot. You see one um, video, challenging life of an otherwise abled boy, he is a good motivation for me.
I met an accident. So my leg, the ankle was broken into pieces, seven, eight pieces. And I went to Madurai hospital and put some wires, metal screws and like that. Six months I was in bed. But now I'm walking, I'm running, I'm going anywhere, trekking. But I had the mindset, positive mindset. I can do it. I can do it. I can walk. I can run. I can jog. Otherwise, I have to close my door in my home and I have to sit there. I cannot go anywhere. Now, now I am the motivator for many students in the colleges as well as in the schools, 9th standard to 12th standard. Majority, I am moving around to government schools. So we must have the attitude, I can do it. If we never use, I cannot. I'll try my level best. The next video. Yes, I can. Gee, I'm afraid to go on as turned into. Yes, I can. Take a look, what do you see? 133 pounds of confidence in me. Got the feeling I can do anything. Yes, I can. Something that sings in my blood is telling me. Yes, I can. I was just born today. I can. Yes, I can. 
Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hey, yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Are you ready? I can climb Everest. Yes, I can. I can fight your own. You see, these people are challenging us. Can we say, I can? Can we say, I can do it. I can study well. I can improve myself. We should have the mindset of, I can. So what are the three mindsets number one gratitude mindset number two number two huh no optimist is here only i can what is the second mindset self esteem number three is mindset of i can this is optimist, right? So we must have, we should have all these kind of mindsets. But now, how can I change my mindset or mind? Is it possible? Before morning, I was uh, giving the lecture on the same topic in Anja College. You know Anja College? Ayanada Jani Yamal College in Sivagasi. Some of you know that. There I ask this question, can I, how can I change my mindset? One boy said, we cannot change. <laughs> he is having a negative mindset already. He studied in, he, he said like that, I studied in one psychology book, they are telling we cannot change our mind like that. Is it not like that? You can, it's proven these things. I have many proofs. I myself is a witness for you, challenging witness. I saw my illness and other things. You see here, how can I change my mind? This is the answer. What is the answer? Can you read it out? When? Word changes. First I said no, what is, what is my slogan? When mind changes, life changes. I started with that statement, right? When mind changes, life changes. Now, how can we change our mind is when word changes, mind changes. Whose words? Our or mine? Mine. When my, my, my word changes, my life changes. Here, a book, another book. There are so many book, books in the world. But we have to read it out. Now the reading um, uh, habit is going down. Everything is on the mobile, no? In the mobile we are swiping like that. Then we leave it out. But wonderful book, this book. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. It's by Dr. Joseph Murphy. What is the content in that book is we can change our thoughts, we can change our thoughts by words. How? Confessing the same word again and again. He, he is writing like that in one chapter. If you want, one day if you want to be a rich person, whenever you go to bed in the night time, before going to bed, you close your eyes and you have to repeat again and I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy. He is writing like that. It, it will be stored in your subconscious mind and one day you will be rich. This is proven. 
this is proven because the words have power every word from your mouth has power i am experiencing that so that i am standing before you you see one you know that when the, this this college founder founded this college i was in that meeting when i was studying 9th standard in the cms higher secondary school today i am teaching you 9th standard when i was studying 9th standard 84 i think here small campus and one building that is they started as kalisalingam arulmigu kalisalingam polytechnic kalluri like that at that time i was studying in cms higher secondary school 9th standard boy the the very famous athlete on that time pt usa she came over there and he lighted up the torch but today i am teaching in that same college university how at that time i was very poor very poor i was eating in the midday meals in the uh, school but now all over india and some parts of uh, outside india also i am traveling over there how you set your mind up you never ever give negative thoughts a negative speech negative attitude you remove all these things today itself now itself you see here many photographs i am going to show you many people in india they are not at all having dress good dress enough we have enough dress more than 5 sets or 10 sets right we have and many people they are they are having only one time food we are sometimes we are eating five times right am i right three times even in the hostel they are we are telling the hostel food is not good and we go for a fast food right we are eating five times or six times we are spending money you never spend money use money you see here many people they are not at all having house to stay back and they are waiting for food they are beggars the children they left out the parents you see here such a wonderful idea but why he doesn't have money the beggars small child beggars in the trains and their husband died the whole family is in trouble and the young boy teenage boy he is begging in the signals roadside signals in the cities you see here street children in india more than 1 crore and 10000 10 lakhs the children are on the street you see this is somalia a country in africa still more than 10 15 years more than 15 years they are struggling with famine they don't have food they are dying without food these all dead bodies without food without food when you dear students if you compare with these kind of people you see here this is their family photograph now you can say economically i am good can you say this can you say this or not huh repeat after me if you are really you are rich you are economically good you can say tell me repeat economically again again once again this statement if you want to change your mind this is your confession every day 10 times or 20 times or 30 times how much you want you again and again you, you tell economically i am good economically i am good then second thing you see here i am going to tell you three statements to confess by your mouth then only you can change your mind there was a school in america a group of students were asked to list what they thought were the present seven wonders of the world 
though there were some disagreements the following received the most votes why nowadays not only seven wonders there are 700 wonders so many things are wonderful in this world so finally they decided these seven wonders what is the first one egypt pyramids here is there no this is first one egypt pyramids and taj mahal you know that in our country and grand canyon the top one middle one it's in colorado and uh, panama canal the left side second one the empire state building is in new york that's the last one right hand side bottom and the fifth one st peter's basilica in vatican city italy and china's great wall the top one when we go to arunachal pradesh in our country i went there you can see the china's great wall very big easily a bus can go and come back like that very big size you see now while gathering the votes the teacher noted that one student had not finished her paper yet sometimes we are doing like that no in the examination hall the final bring uh, the, the bell rang the teacher uh, came over there and give 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 like that right like that the student was waiting but so she asked the girl if she was having trouble with her list the girl replied yes a little i couldn't uh, quite make up my mind you see here make up my mind because there were so many i cannot give the list immediately the teacher said well tell us what you have and maybe we can help you immediately the girl hesitated then read i think the seven wonders of the world are you see here it's a very wonderful number one she said to see i am seeing things to see is wonderful because so many people they are not at all having the sight number two the second wonder is to hear i listen music right now the buttons are there no air buds right i am hearing i am listening music but so many people i went over in in tamil nadu many different schools i went there there also i am teaching through the helper in that place i am the handicap whenever i talk some person or teacher is doing the action the signs of the deaf and dumb signs at that place i am the handicapped person i feel like that you see here hearing is the second wonder and third is to touch to touch that is a third wonder and fourth wonder she has written to taste to taste now you see here the fourth wonder is tasting we are having taste buds in that in in our tongue god has created us in a marvelous way salt and uh, sour sweet six kinds of sweet uh, uh, taste no right then fifth one is to feel feeling when you are sad you have to cry when you are happy you have to laugh if you are doing wrong something wrong in your mind or something right okay good then the sixth wonder is she has written like this to laugh laughing is also a wonder finally the seventh wonder she has written is and to love love means it's not like a romantic love right okay not uh, the the cinema people the media people they are right using that kind of love that's not like that you love your mother father your brother sister your friends like that okay but in english the only one word is using for love 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 like that love one love only like that right not like this okay 
brotherly love father and mother parental love like that the room was so quiet you could have heard a pin drop silence pin drop silence can you read the second paragraph everyone the things we overlook as simple and ordinary and that we take for granted are truly wondrous we are we are taking for granted small things we cannot go on by the sight you can have replacement of eyes but the sight from the god you cannot have the ears you can have earbuds right the machines but you cannot get any from anywhere the sound or hearing capacity okay so a gentle reminder from god for you can you all read the statement the most precious things in life cannot be built by hand or bought by man this we might understand all these things so the second statement you have to confess by your mouth to change your mind is physically i am good can you repeat once again once again so i have taught two statements number one economically i am good and number two is physically i am good very good very good the last one is the phenomenal power of the human brain what is the meaning phenomenal can you any one of you can you say the meaning phenomenal means phenomenal surroundings no phenomenal extraordinary what is the meaning extraordinary power our brain is having the extraordinary power what is that power i am going to test your brains right all you have to read what i have um, show you you see here ah read it out loudly read 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 everyone everybody read loudly oh very good next page you see next page ah it doesn't matter in what order the letters are ah this is because we are always thinking the spelling are important right right if you write like this in your exam they will put like cross right but what is the phenomenal power of your brain is you see here the human brain does not read every letter by itself but the word as a whole so the the first letter and the last letter should be in that place that's all finish so according to this research already you have read very good manner good speed i can say your brain all of here you have good brain in good condition if you go and check in a psychiatric doctor he they they will give a test like this then immediately they say hey your your brain is good go and study well that's all finish we cannot have any excuse for this you have to study you have to work hard right 
so this is in tamil so the third statement you have to recite or you have to confess every day is mentally i am good repeat after me once again once again so what are the three uh, statements number 1 economically i am good number 2 physically i am good number 3 mentally i am good mentally i am good so what the psychologist what the researchers say like this in these books i have given you i have shown you two books no switch on your brain by dr carlin leaf and another book the power of the subconscious mind by dr joseph murphy according to these people you have to boys listen carefully listen i am going to finish now only i have 10 minutes more listen carefully you are good students i know that but this session is for your life not for your exam this is for your lifetime advice so please so you have to according to those people the researcher says you have to confess these statements every day 20 to 30 times for about for about 21 days at least 30 days 40 days it's good but i challenge you if you really concern about this you have to repeat after this daily one day you will achieve the positive mindset then you can achieve your goal easily never ever you say i cannot you can say i can do it i will try my level best some health benefits of positive thinking i want to tell this because i experienced in my sickness right you see here i met a um, heart attack in um, lockdown period severe massive attack they told <laughs> but i never ever experience i just had a pain on the back you see here the health benefits of positive thinking there are six health benefits number one is increased life span increased life span if you have but one day we will die everyone in this world but you can increase your life span when you are an optimist then number 2 greater resistant to the common cold many people we are saying like this no i if i drink this if i drink this cold one immediately i will get cold right common cold but you can escape from the common cold if you are an optimist because the immunization power will be rising rising in corona time many people they died because of the fear the fear many people i was inside the corona ward i i went there in one hospital you see here lower cholesterol level naturally when you are an optimist the cholesterol level will be lowering and number 4 reduced risk of death from cardiovascular disease i escaped in this point the doctors told me you have cardiovascular disease the two vascular uh, capillaries are blocked by this much amount this percentage like that but i simply i was laughing see he so the doctor said you are having a block this much amount 
of blockage like that. But I never get scared. Good. You see, when I was in bed in the Apollo Hospital, Madurai, and then I went to CMC, Vellur, when they were taking me to the theater, operation theater, in the cath lab, you see, immediately I, 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 I said to my wife, you take photograph, you take video like that. Because one day I will come back and I will give my witness. Because we must have the positive mindset. And I was in the corona ward also. Once after, after six months, they said, you are affected with corona. You are corona positive. You come to bed. And I was stayed in a corona ward for about seven days. But I was helping the people in that ward. I never ever get scared. Dear students, listen carefully. You never ever get scared about anything in this world. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. You must have in your mind, I can do it. Better coping skills during hardships and times of stress or depression. You know that? I cope up in this situation. I don't have sugar complaint. I don't have BP. I don't have cholesterol. But what happened to my life? I had stress in my, my family. I had that. Only because of that. But even though I have stress, I still I am an optimist. I could scope up, cope up with that situation. And number six, the health benefit is slower aging. You see, sometimes when our age is going there, going up, right, getting older, our skin will be wrinkled. But it's not like that when you are an optimist. So there are so many health tips, health benefits when you are an optimist. Okay. Now, the final session. This is final. I am going to complete now. But I, I would like to review all these things. Number one, how can we be positive always? Is it possible? Yes, is it possible? It is possible. Number one, can you read it louder? What is number one? Start with, start with, can do, start with can do, I can do attitude. Today onwards, not today, this, today, hear itself, right? You have to start. Start with can do. Number two, what is that? Get away from, ah, even your friends, you tell him or tell her, you be an optimist, otherwise leave me alone. It is good for you, otherwise it is good for your friend. So, the number two is, get away from negative people. And number three, what is that? We can't avoid failure. We can't avoid failure, but never lose your enthusiasm. Failure comes. You make it as a stepping stone. If failure comes, you make it as a stepping stone and move forward. Never stuck up with that failure. And number four, what is number four? Read it loudly. 
ప్లీజ్ పర్ఫెక్షన్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇంపాసిబుల్ డెస్టినేషన్ యూ లివ్ ఇట్ బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ దేర్ టేక్ స్మాల్ స్టెప్స్ నెవర్ పుట్ లాంగ్ స్టెప్స్ రైట్ టేక్ స్మాల్ స్టెప్స్ then you one day you will reach the goal reach your destination and number 5 be thankful ah i already said no the three mindset what are the three mindset number 1 gratitude mindset number 2 number 3 can do i mindset right okay this is under gratitude mindset be thankful for what you have what are the things you are having and number 6 positive self talk what are the three statements i have given to you for self talk number 1 economically i am good and physically i am good and number 3 good good very good very good very good and the last one is not least one think present what are the things in this present days today you think about it you forget about the past you cannot never ever change the past what are the things happen in your life you cannot change it if you are worry about that you cannot do anything you cannot do anything nothing doing so you forget the past and you don't worry about the future but think about the present situation where you are now what are you going to do today so think about the present situation and present thing it's your studies so you think about your studies and think about your parents how much they are suffering to admit you here in this university so now i conclude with the statements of our former president dr apj abdul kalam if you fail in the last past never give up because f a i l means what first attempt in learning what is a motivational thought you see here and number 2 end is not the end in fact e n d means what effort never dies if you really a hard worker if you are optimist your effort never dies always lives and the final one is if you get no as an answer remember n o means what next opportunity so let's be positive so let's be positive so i am very much happy about you i thank one and of all here now is the time for you any of you can you come forward and share something about this session feedback can you was it useful was it useful really really then come give me some two or one or two statements oh this this was very nice and it was useful for me like that can you come from boy side from girl side one person at least feedback you are getting scared to come forward hmm but was it useful or not everyone 
everyone can you raise your hands no 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 i won't call you <laughs> oh very good very good very good thank you thank you thank you god bless you thank you so much thank you sir thank you for your wonderful lecture uh, i think uh, it has motivated all the students uh, thank you once again for giving a special talk to us uh, so instruction to students i think your next period is for the sports right you may go to the sports venue thank you